Yo, what's up guys, Shujin Kidink here with another video to entertain or assist you in becoming the better Injustice 2 player. And this video is all about frame data, kind of. Um, more so, kind of how to block 50-50s. I'm talking more about, um, like in the middle of string, kind of 50-50s. And I'll kind of show you what I mean, but uh, just starting off, this does have uh, quite a bit to do with frame data. So if you're unfamiliar with frame data, or you just kind of want to brush up a little bit, I'll put a little link up here. To a video that I did on how to understand it all, so I'll go watch that first and come back. I'll wait for you, I promise. I'm not actually, because you're not going to be watching this right now, so I'm just going to go ahead. So welcome back! So we've got two characters I want to go over today. So the first one is going to be Firestorm, and the second one is going to be Atrocitus. Uh, Firestorm is a little bit of a more basic example, so that's why I wanted to use him. Atrocitus is a little bit more complicated. So Firestorm has a mix-up here where you can do back one two, which is the mid into the overhead. Or you can do back one into the Molten Trap, which is a mid into a low. So the guess is, is he going to do that, or is he going to do that? Now, there is a way to block both of these, no matter which option he does. Um, in a lot of games, this is called Fuzzy Guarding. doesn't so much exist in Injustice, because there seems to be like an auto stand if you block an overhead. Um, in some cases, there is, like with Atrocitus, which I'll show you. Um, but basically, we want to use our frame data to understand how to block this. So... We're going to go into our combo list. So a lot of people ask me, like, why do they have a second set of frame data here for the combos when I can just look at the first one for the startup? And uh, if you're unfamiliar with why that is, it's because the frame data here is for the second hit of the move. So when you see that this 1-1, one, one, the startup, is 8 frames, that is 8 frames startup for the second move. And if you stop it at the second move, the block advantage is 0. Now if you do the 1-1-3, one, one, then the startup of 15 frames here is for the third move, and then the block advantage for the third move is 3. So this is how you can see your stagger. So 1-1's one, a high, so it's not a great stagger, but let's say they're just blocking it anyway. So 1-1 one, one, or 1-1-3 one, one, would be a very good stagger, because they're uh, neutral or 3. Um, but we're not talking about that today, we're talking about um, back 1-2. So you see the second startup frame of back 1-2 is 13 frames. So that's this one here. So it's pretty quick overhead. Now, if we cancel it into the the Molten Trap here, we see the Molten Trap startup is 17 frames. So it's a little bit slower than the overhead uh, by about four frames, which means that uh, we can fuzzy guard. Now, what we would have to do is we'd have to block high first and then block low. And we have to switch that blocking within uh, four frames of each other, which is a fairly big window, um, especially in fighting games. So, so just to recap here, so what we're seeing is that the overhead portion, this part, is quicker than this part. Um, so to successfully block it, we block overhead first, and then we would fuzzy guard into a low. So you kind of want to go like a down up or up down kind of thing really fast to uh, cover both your options there. You with me so far? Because I'm going to switch characters, it's going to get a little bit trickier. Okay, so now we have Atrocitus here, and um, he is kind of the master of mix-ups. So you can do the overhead into the low, and you can also do the low at any point. So we're going to look at his frame data here, and see when we can get out. So forward 2-2 two, two is, uh, so the second hit of that is 22 frame startup, but there's no mix-up there. Go to the 4223, which is overhead. Now that's a 23 frame startup for the overhead. And if he decides to cancel it into the low, then that's a 20 frame startup. So you want to do the same thing that you did against Firestorm, except you want to block overhead, then low. But you only have, I'm going to say, about two frames, probably logically, to do this. So it's very hard, and you have to do it twice. He's got two overheads there, and then he can cancel it into the low the second time as well. So that makes it extremely difficult because you got a fuzzy guard down up, down up, and you got to do it at the right time because if he, uh, if you miss block it or whatever, miss block it, I don't know. If you don't block properly, then he's going to hit you with a full combo. So I hope that was kind of understanding uh, or helped you understand a little bit more about how to uh, fuzzy guard these mix-ups. Um, I usually do live streams on Friday, but I have the day off tomorrow, so I'm going to do a live stream. I'm trying a new platform out. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, Stream.me. I'm sure those of you that have been watching The War of the Gods are familiar with that. 
Um, but I'm going to post the, uh, the link to the stream in the description below. So head over there and follow me if you want, if you want to be notified. Um, yeah, I'll probably be about noon Pacific time tomorrow, uh, 3 p.m. Eastern. So I just want to try it out and see how it is because a lot of people have been saying good things about it and Twitch hasn't doesn't want to partner with me because I don't think I stream enough over there and streaming doesn't is more lenient uh, because my home is here on YouTube with you guys. So I want to go away from there just to whatever I can kind of deal. So uh, hopefully you guys can support me there. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like because it really helps me out and subscribe because we make videos every single day. Hashtag Bonehawks and all that stuff and we'll see all you guys in the next video.